Hey guys, so today it's time to go ahead and show off this new launcher, this new Android launcher called TSF Shell and it's web right now. I made a video about it and that, that it got launched yesterday. So I'm just gonna go ahead here, make a very quick video, show it off, you know, uh, show some cool things uh, with it, you know, you may, you know, do enjoy because you are one of those guys that always want the latest and greatest and you know what, this could actually be one of the best launchers out there but uh, who knows judge for yourself so it's a very expensive launcher it cost three no not 300 bucks I'm retarded I mean like cost like 16 bucks uh, so it, it's it's kind of expensive but this is how it looks like on my Samsung Galaxy Samsung Galaxy Samsung Galaxy Note phone 4.3 inch uh, so okay first of all okay so how is this one built up okay so here we could basically see all of my apps that's basically the first menu and if uh, you know this is just like a place where you all have all of your uh, apps if you go ahead and tap up here come on seems like I mean it's still in beta okay there we go so we can change the effect here hey come on usually it works perfect okay so let's see let's try again there we go okay so you can open up the menu here and then you can basically change the transition effect so that's the one that we are having right now there we go you can change and I haven't noticed uh, any lag at all that's kinda good and here we have another one it's it's yeah pretty epic even though I know that some other launchers have been using this one especially okay let's see here we have another one bring some cool effects you get the idea over here that you have cool effects uh, now I'm not even sure why it's okay there we go there we have the normal little boring one they will have another cool pretty badass uh, but I think I do enjoy this one the most no this one uh, where it goes around the default one but I mean it's a very good question if this uh, really is worth 16 bucks when it's kind of glitchy as you see right now okay so up there you have that one if you go down over here we basically have some quick toggles um, so here we have some random funny things you can put down you can drag and drop over here and obviously they are you can't put them out on this uh, where you have all of your widgets install or I mean your all of your apps install you have to put them out on another page uh, if you go ahead and go here in the middle you can see they have some custom widgets like a music widget the memo widget folder widget contact widget uh, and the weather widget now the interesting thing is that many of these haven't been working for me because you know it seems like they're not available right now in the Android market so that, that's that's a little annoying and also you have here your quick uh, apps you can customize when you want to have quick access to something uh, if you go ahead and go back uh, okay so if you go ahead here is basically the key thing with this launcher if you tap down here you can see that we have a lot of pages the, the, this one at the bottom uh, that that's one with all of your apps you can't do anything here it's just your app drawer uh, but here you also have five different pages no th four pages I'm sure if you can add more but I assume that you can uh, but let's say we want to use we can just take an app here we can just put it on 
any page here it's kind of like a cool 3d effect that we get over here you can see that I've added some other things over here uh, so let's just go ahead and remove them they are annoying and I'm gonna show you a cool little thing here okay so uh, I did put this widget over here or I mean app uh, if you hold it down like this and you want to move it around, you know, turn it, you can go ahead and do so too. That's a cool thing I do enjoy that you can put it down like this. Kind of cool effect. I at least do believe so. If you have multiple apps, let's say I want to create a folder here and I have these two over here. I can just quickly go ahead and you do it like this. And then I get a few things I can do. I can make arrange them, multi-choice. If you click on multi-choice like that. Hmm. Okay, so I think they could open up both apps when you do it like that. Uh, but if you go ahead now and take them, we can just put them on another page if you want to go ahead and move them and then we can quickly rearrange them over here okay let's say we want to create a folder over here we can just do it like this and then we can just go ahead and create a folder and it will create a folder kind of like iOS but uh, the bad thing though is that it opens it up like this kind of annoying would be cool if it was just like iOS because that's that's a very good way they do handle it we can also go ahead and change the name over here okay of course it's an interesting launcher and I think it's going to become better when they've fixed out some of the bugs uh, definitely 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 uh, and then obviously when you type down here you have your quick uh, things you can move this one over here and also they did show off more cool features in the video and I suppose that you want to go ahead and check that out as well some things you know some cool widgets that aren't aware right now also they could they saw cool or did you preview a cool thing uh, where you can go ahead and click here go down uh, over here or over here and then ha make a box and they can just drag and drop things in a box it's just a very cool way but that doesn't seem to be a web right now also live wallpapers sh should work but they doesn't seem to work at the moment and obviously if you hold down like this you can change wallpaper you can add something you can of course add your usual widgets like this one if you prefer that one Go to a page, change this one to another. It's a, it's a cool, interesting way. Uh, if you go ahead and go to wallpapers, uh, TSF wallpapers. And obviously you can't swipe like this. Uh, to change, you have to go down over here. And then you just go ahead and go over here. And let's say you wanna take let's say you wanna take a few of your apps to another page, you can just double tap on those you wanna pick. Say so you want these two or these as well. And then you just hold down and we can move all of these at the same time. Let's move them over here, kind of empty. And then we can customize over here how we want to arrange them. If you want them to be very very tiny over there we can go ahead and do so and then we can move them around we can delete them let's see here take some time to get used to this lasso tool okay let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, arrange them no oh my god Let's go ahead and throw them away. Just like that. It's an interesting launcher. Go ahead and try it out for yourself right now. Go ahead and check out the demo video if you want to go ahead and do so as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use this one though right now because it seems and it feels a little bit unfinished. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know uninstall this. Go back to the stock launcher. And uh, I, I still do believe that Android 4.0 ICS is going to be so much better, you know, the stock experience. But, you know, it's, it's an interesting uh, 3D launcher. You know, people that like 3D effects, they are definitely going to enjoy this, I think. You know, kind of cool and badass. 
even though there are some out there already that can do these things like SP, SPB shell 3D but that one feels a little bit more you know old school you know rounded off buttons this one feels a little bit more 2012 uh, I gotta say but uh, yeah you can go ahead and check it out right now see you.